So guys, this video is gonna be about behind the scenes for us. Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Kelly. Hey, I'm Jackson. My name is Jackson. And this is Jonathan. Yeah, kind of talk about how our channel in the background has evolved from day one to today, which in some ways it's been a lot. And in other ways, kind of feel like, feels like we haven't really changed a whole lot. Um, part of that's because most of the changes we made were pretty early on because we realized mm -hmm. um, what we were doing wasn't exactly how we wanted to be doing it or wasn't working. Right. When we first decided to start our channel, we knew we were going to have cameras. Well, every YouTube channel has to have at least one camera. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Like a lot of people, we experimented with our phones because most phones nowadays will do 1080p at least at 60 to 120 frames per second. Well, ours do that. Mm -hmm. The problem is we use life proof cases because we have boys. Because of me, actually. <laughs> and because we have the boys who enjoy to play with them and um, we're very active. And so we learned quickly that that affects the audio. And it the affects video. the audio quite a bit having a case on your phone. So we found out quickly that okay, we need to find a solution for cameras. Well, not just that, we wanted cameras that could go with us. Mm. Um, mounting your phone to a bike, while there are solutions for that, it's not the most effective way to film or safe is because some of the <laughs> some of the mounts do fail yeah um and so we quickly moved to gopro they're action cameras they're waterproof they're you i mean they have a really sturdy case you can abuse them pretty good and you can mount them in all kinds of different locations and got tons of different mounts that you can choose from yeah. they're all i mean we we have found what works for us and so while our channel would benefit from a DSLR, and while our channel would benefit from a drone, we chose to spend our money on GoPros. Um, we quickly realized that the GoPro um, needed some help with the audio, and so we purchased external microphones. We actually use the external microphone with the dash camera in the truck when it's facing towards us. We use a microphone in there, and it helps drown out some of the diesel noise and some of the road noise. We've got a big, huge truck that is loud. <laughs> and if the microphone's not attached, there's a lot of post-audio fixing, editing type stuff that has to happen. And even then, it's kind of impossible to fix it completely. So um, it helps. So yeah, the, the having to do a bunch of excess audio work in post-production... Um, is pain. It is, and so getting the right external microphone became a big deal for us, and so we did the research and we found ones that work. If you want to know which microphones those are, um, we have done a what's in our camera bag video, and I'll link mm -hmm. that up here so you can check that out. Yeah. The other thing that has evolved since we started our channel is when we first started, we have four cameras four GoPros, and we would have all four of them running, and we would just let them run for a couple hours, and the amount of footage was ridiculous. We've learned to uh, choose your shot, choose your angle, um, sometimes simple is better, and to, even when we go on the bike rides, we'll um, be very choosy about uh, the shots that we choose, that way we have less footage to go through. Yes. Um, if there's a specific shot or a specific thing we want to cover, we will stop and we will set up and get the shot and then move on. But a lot of times we're just, as we go, push the record button, let it go, and then turn it back off. We've also learned a little bit about what type of shots will actually end up in our videos. So far on our channel, we haven't done a ton of B-roll footage. Um, a lot of that is, is editing time. Um, and a lot of that is just Learning how to set it up. Learning how to set it up and setting up the footage. And we we don't really want to stop in the middle of our adventure or stop in the middle of our bike rides to stop and get the B-roll footage. Um, we just want to just 
continue the experience. Yeah, our, the reason that we're even documenting it at all is so that we have it later on. It's not so much about making the perfect video about our adventure. Um, that's not our goal when we go out on adventures. Our goal is to go on an adventure and then um, videoing is kind of a almost, I mean, I don't want to say afterthought, but to an extent it kind of is. Um, we don't really, that's not our goal on making our videos. Our goal is to enjoy family time and mm -hmm. to be present with our boys. And as you all know, technology can uh, detract from that. Yeah. And, and part of that is too, is, um, there are some things that we don't film. Um, there yeah. are family moments, family time. Um, even if we meet extended family, uh, yeah. there are things that we just won't, we're just not willing to record or we won't record. Um, that way there's some privacy. Like when we went on our family to the family yeah. reunion in Colorado, um, a f what about a couple months back? Um, there a good significant portion portion of that trip did not get filmed. You find that balance and you have to decide what your goal is for that time. And well, and some of it has to do with what you're comfortable with. Some of it has to do with what your family is comfortable with. Yes. So the next thing is <clears throat> once you get all of your footage, you need to be able to edit it on a machine. Um, there's lots of different options. What what your options are depends on what kind of computer you have. It's going to make a difference whether or not you have a Mac or if you have a PC. Um, that just... And there's there's so many different kinds of software too. Some um, are free and some you have to pay for. Some of the ones if you're paid for, if you're a student, you actually get a huge discount. And so we knew that we wanted to use Adobe Pro CC and we did know that there was a steeper learning curve with that. I've done a some hobby type photography in the past so I have some experience with programs similar to that and so I wasn't too concerned about being able to breach that curve um, even though I will admit it did take me a long time to learn it even with the previous experience so it's it's definitely not a program for the faint of heart. <laughs> so originally we were using my Surface Pro 3 that I had fully specced out to maximum specs. And it a few will, years ago. yeah, a while ago. And it will run Adobe CC Pro. It'll run. It'll run it. Um, it'll freeze up every now and then and it'll want to restart the machine for getting too hot. But we used that for a little while and realized that we needed to upgrade our machine. I so, got tired of forgetting <clears throat> to save and being 40 minutes into uh, edit and then all of a sudden losing all of my progress. Granted, ProCC does do auto saves in the background and that saved my butt a couple times, but even then I still lost a lot of time and that wasn't <laughs> worth it to us. And we were already looking at possibly getting a new computer for other reasons as well. So it wasn't like we weren't already considering it. So what we ended up doing is we ended up getting a, a Zeus Republic of Gamers gaming laptop, fully maxed out specs, mm -hmm. as high as you could go on everything is what we did. It's a beautiful um, laptop. <laughs> it works really good. It's really fast. I also get to use it for work. Mm -hmm. um, but basically where the Surface Pro would render down a 1080p video in about an hour using the same camera equipment and the same everything else the new gaming laptop that we have will render it down in 15 to 20 minutes. And so um, it saves a lot of time. Yes. Um, and then while we're actually editing, we can have all the settings in there fully maxed out and the computer runs it just fine. It doesn't slow down or skip or, or pixelate or any of that anymore. So um, that's quite beneficial. All right, so the biggest change that we've made and the most recent change, well, I, I guess it's not necessarily the biggest, but the most recent change that we have made is um, on a more of a branding standpoint. We have a website, actually. Um, I haven't really promoted this website a whole bunch because, to be quite honest, I was not particularly uh, proud of it. <laughs> and we started out on Wix, which is a, a decent website building program if you've never, ever had a website in your life before. Um, and it was a good way to dip our toes into the, that, those waters, but it had a lot of limitations that I was very frustrated with. We spoke to a friend who is a web and branding expert, and he has been giving us 
really good advice and has been helping us make the transition to the new website. Yeah, and he, he's done a lot with helping us design and um, teach us about how to work with the new program. We have switched to WordPress and um, there's definitely a lot more flexibility with this um, format mm -hmm. and this program than what Wix offers. So we're really excited to finally be able to relaunch our website. Um, there will be a link to the website in the description below. Uh, we'd love to have you guys head over and check it out and um, leave us some kind of feedback. I am still working on getting the blog posts transferred over, so they're not all there quite yet. Um, hopefully I will have more done <laughs> by the time this video goes live, but fair warning, it may not all be entirely there. So that's a little bit of how we started, what we started with, and where we've moved to now a little bit. Uh, we still have plans. We're still progressing. We're still upgrading as we can. We're still uh, moving forward as we can in all these learning. aspects. Yeah, we're still learning. Um, still learning a lot. We're pretty excited about next week because next week we actually find out if we're having a boy or a girl. Um, so look for that video coming up real soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you are interested in any of our adventures or any reviews or updates and leave a comment and a thumbs up. Right now we still have the ability to answer all the comments and interact with you guys fully. And we like that, we like that a lot. Well, it's encouraging to us, it, it helps me personally, since I'm the one who edits, it helps me to know that I'm producing something that somebody wants to watch and enjoys watching and we're on to the next adventure.